Well, today I'm very excited to talk to Chef Lau uh, at his restaurant, uh, Buddha's Veggie. Thank you very much, uh, Chef Lau, for being interviewed by me. Hi. Uh, so uh, I understand, first of all, Buddha's Veggie is no longer just a vegetarian restaurant. So you still do vegetarian dishes, but at the same time you have added some meat menus to it. Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the, the purpose is to expand your market uh, and to add some, like, for, I guess, add different customers to, to the, uh, yeah, to the fold. Yeah, I just want to let more people to have uh, more selection. Yeah, and you know, uh, some vegetarian people they have the the friends or family they don't they are not vegetarian, so they can right. dine in at the same time. Right, exactly. I mean, I'm I'm not kidding. I do have a few friends who are vegetarian, and now I can bring them over, uh, and they, they can enjoy the food with us at the same time. Yeah. So the reason I want to interview you because to me you are great example of uh, a chef, a person that is in pursuit of excellence and trying to do and be the best that uh, you can be in doing something. So let me ask you, uh, um, so some of the dishes that we have, uh, let's take uh, uh, the, the shrimp dumpling, dumpling for example, so what, what are a little bit of the secrets that you, you put in to make that uh, to be a good dish? Uh, yeah, they all, first of all, they good food need to be uh, has to be uh, not, the, the meat has to be fresh right yeah and of course so uh, there's some secret <laughs> uh. and for the, for the shrimp dumpling uh, we need to uh, let it dry and then uh, you, you you can taste it a uh, little bit uh, crunchy right. oh you mean the shrimp itself yeah. You have to let it dry a little bit. Yeah. Are they and are they fresh shrimp or like it's, it's frozen? It's frozen. Yeah. Mm, right. It still tastes tastes pretty good. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Right. But uh, I guess you pick good quality shrimp. Mm. Uh, uh, right. Yeah, so right. I suppose yes. that helps. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. And the other one is the siu siu mai. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, talk talk a little bit about that. Uh, it's the same thing. We we need to rinse it a little bit and. You know, uh, we are not u using the machine to bring it. Uh, well, do you mean the pork you are not using itself, the machine? Yeah, we, so we you actually hand it. chop it? Yeah, we have to cut it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, mm. it's totally different. Right, right, right. So what are the ingredients in the siu mai? Uh, it's pork and some black mushroom. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do put some... Uh, it's the dried fish. Mm -hmm. It's a special kind. And very special taste. Mm -hmm. Right, to bring out the flavor. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So we also had uh, uh, the rice roll. Talk, talk a little bit about the rice roll, and it's really, really surprisingly uh, refreshing and tasty dish to us. Like, uh, uh, yeah, unlike that, we some, anything that we had before. Uh, this rice roll, uh, we use the deep fried. It's a rice. We call the rice net. And after we deep fry it, we just uh, crush it mm -hmm. and we mix it with uh, some of the, uh, I don't know what it's called in, <laughs> in English. So. Try, try in Cantonese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, a kind of, the, it's from the vegetarian product. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, what's it called? Yeah. It's, it's made with the soy protein mm -hmm. and it's with some sesame seeds. Oh, okay, sesame seeds, yeah, and yeah. Seaweed. Mm -hmm. So right. you, you, when you bite it, you can feel it is very crunchy. Crunchy, right, right. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's vegetarian meat floss, right? Like uh, like the yeah yeah yeah. 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 That, that's mm -hmm. the thing, yeah. Right, right, right. And after we roll it with the, uh, the rice, the steamed rice sheet, mm -hmm. and cut it and put some salad dressing on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, yeah. That was really tasty. And there's uh, a tofu dish, right? Yeah. A deep fried, like, I don't know, uh, honeycomb. Honeycomb tofu. tofu. So talk yeah. a little about that. That was really, really crunchy. Well, yeah, yummy to us. Yeah. Now we use a special. Uh, Mm -hmm. What's it called? Uh, the low side. Low side? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it, we uh -huh. just put it in 
似啲似啲老水嘅。我老水力啊，力啊，老水雞嘅老水啊嘛。Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay, so it's dip, 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 in, dip the tofu in it. Yeah, and then you just, you uh, fry it. Yeah, and I takes a couple of hours. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Really? So you and you dip, uh, you dip it every day. It's fresh every day, and, right. and then. You deep fry. Wow, well, yeah, that was really, yeah, really. See, th those are the thoughts to me that you put in to it, and that that makes it good. Uh, another dish that we had was uh, the chiu chong uh, fen guo. Uh, and yeah, talk a little bit about that one. Uh, that one we, the most important thing uh, is with less meat. It's oh really? Used pork, uh -huh. Uh -huh. And some dry shrimp, mm -hmm. and uh, it's the turnip. Oh, turnip. Yeah, we shred it, turnip. Right, so the, the chopped and shred turnip is You're the right. one that adds the flavor mm -hmm. and, and makes it tasty. Yes. Mm, right. And we had the Shanghai uh, uh, meat dumpling or soup dumpling. Uh, yes. yeah, yeah, talk a little bit about that one. Uh, that one, I would say, uh, is the best in Calgary, though. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's confident. So yeah. so, yeah, when they come, when people come, they should try it. So what's, uh, what makes it so special? Uh, we guarantee every piece has the soup inside. Oh, okay. And the meat is uh, we we do mix the the soup with the with the meat mm -hmm. before we wrap it. Right. And you hand chop the the meat too? Oh no, not no, this one. Not this one. So no. this one is machine grained. Grained it, and but the the soup uh, is the secret, and uh, I guess this the the wrapping that that is. Not yeah, too it's thick, hand yeah, yeah, handmade. Yeah, mm. yeah, everything is handmade. Mm -hmm. Right, and we also had the vegetarian shrimp dumpling, uh, just to contrast with uh, the shrimp dumpling. So talk a little about that. It, it's a lot of uh, different texture and different flavor in it, right? Mm. Yeah, we use the veggie shrimp to top it, mm. and we use the white fungus mm -hmm. and bamboo shoot. Uh, Right, right. So I think uh, that's pretty much the, what we had uh, today. So again, like to me, what I admire you uh, a lot is the, the effort and um, the care that you put into the food. So tell me, like what, what uh, I, I don't know if I have asked you already, but tell me, like what makes you put the effort and energy into it as opposed to make a quick buck? Um, actually, I... Yeah, this is a tough <laughs> question for you. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, yeah. Just, just tell, tell me what you feel. Yeah. Yeah, I feel uh, about food. How about food? Yeah, that's a tough question. I mean, in, not a tough question for you, but it's tough for you in English. I know. Yes, right. So yeah. <laughs> So, but t tell me about your feeling about food and how you treat food, and then uh, from that I think I can, the like audience for, can tell. Yeah, for every dish, every dish, uh, mm -hmm. I try to do my best, mm -hmm. and I try to make every dish will satisfy everybody. Mm -hmm. We use the top quality for all the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Mm. Right. So I guess uh, if people come and try the food and why not, uh, if they don't like it, they can tell you and and you 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 make it right and you ex yeah you yeah it's good food that they, that they can come for and, and yeah and with you like yeah they, you they should get good food. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, Chef Lang. You're welcome.